How can you tell me I'm not the one for that bus back? Put the Bible down. Devil in my soul, mind running around. I might blast on your ass. Get right. What's going on, YouTube? Uh, we back at it again, back in the garage. As you can see, we got our mounts up. Um, as you can see, bay's all chipped up. Failed attempt last night at uh, putting the H22 in. Um, I have the Euro R um, crank pulley. Obviously, yeah, I don't need you to comment telling me, oh, bro, it's it's uh, it's, it's uh, out of balance and blah, 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 blah. I know. It's out of balance. I know. It's junk. Anyway, um, the motor wanted to sit um, a little bit further over, but it wasn't allowed to come over because of the crank pulley was hitting the frame. So today, we are going to... So today, we're going to cut out the frame there. And uh, got that sheet metal over there. Um, I don't know what thickness it is. Um, it's a good thickness, and we're gonna kind of box it in just to keep it kind of keep the rigidity a little bit. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna cut that portion out right there. I kind of marked it. You can kind of see it. It's directly under the uh, under the mount, as you can see. That's where the pulley is. Um, what I should do is take this pulley here and make sure. Yeah, make it make it a little bit bigger. We're gonna cut it a little bit bigger. And uh, ew, sticky. We're gonna cut it a little bit bigger and uh, a little bit bigger than what I marked out. And then we're gonna start cutting plates out of that big piece of sheet metal and tacking it in, fitting, tacking it in, fitting, fitting, you know what I mean? And we're gonna try to get this ready to put the motor in uh, once again because of the fail yesterday. Um, I did record a little bit yesterday, but I decided just to scrap the footage because it, it was just it was nothing. And this shit, oh my god. Uh, yeah, 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 All right, um, we're going to start cutting. I'm going to set up my tripod, and we're going to start cutting.
All right. Whew. After lots of sweating, lots of cutting, lots of banging, we got, this is pretty much what we got. Um, basically, what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to cut a box and put a, basically box this in here. And uh, maybe here up at the top. Or I might just leave it. A lot of people just leave it. So, I mean, I don't know. It clears. The uh, It should clear now. No problem. Um, I am ordering a uh, VMS S2000. Um, what do you call it? Uh, crank pulley. Uh, so that's actually thinner i believe it's a four four rib and well we got the belt for this one over here <clears throat> and this one is <laughs> focus one two three four five six so we got six ribs so i mean four two less ribs should be a you know tucking a little bit closer to the motor um then after that I just got to figure out what I'm going to do for the alternator. I wanted to get the um, innovative uh, alternator relocate, but I don't know yet. We'll figure it out. I mean, because uh, Evolution has one where you can use a single cam alternator or the H-series alternator, which I kind of like that uh, idea of that. You know what I mean? Just it sounds appealing. So, and I'm not 100% on sure on how, uh, what the clearance is going to be with the alternator, um, at this point, because I might, <laughs> I might have to notch out more, which, I don't know. Um, I don't know at this point, um, we're kind of just, I, I know for a fact that the, the, uh, crank pulley didn't work at all, and we tried banging it. And banging it and banging it, bang, 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 nothing. Didn't work. Didn't want, didn't really help uh, whatsoever. So uh, instead of continuing to, you know, struggle and I mean, we had the motor in and out, in and out, in and out. And it's weird. Um, you got to put the motor, drop it down at a complete angle like this, and then once you get it all the way down, swing it, then pull it up. It's you know, probably be easier to, to lift the car up sky high, um, uh, slide the motor underneath, and then drop the car down on the motor. But, uh, I don't know. Uh, so what do we got to do now? Now that that's done. Um, <sighs> I came out here to do something else. I totally forgot. Um, I could just, I could start putting this motor back in, um, but it's kind of a pain in the ass to maneuver. I mean, the engine hoist is getting huge, and it weighs a ton, so, uh, it's a little bit of a pain in the ass to maneuver around, so I don't want to be in here by myself, dropping engine hoist on myself. I know I gotta cut, um, just like I did on the CRX, um, pretty much from the bottom of this, uh, Bumper support, I gotta cut this all the way over to about here, and then down. Same thing on this side, all the way over, and then down, and get rid of this whole bottom piece. Uh, we had to cut the stock radius arm, uh, the bolt right there in the front. Uh, would not come out at all. I mean, we used breaker bars, and it's stuck in there. So... That's that for now. Um, still need a harness. We still need a wire harness. Um, and some other little odds and ends and shit like that. But I mean, I just want to get a document here of this struggle. Because a lot of people that have HTB CRXs will say, Oh, it's simple. Oh, it's so easy. It's so simple. No, it's really not. It's really not. And there's a lot more to it than anybody... Um, will tell you, uh, which is weird, so, uh, I'm probably gonna pause this video out, 
or maybe I'll maybe I'll start cutting that stuff out too. We're just cutting this car to shreds, ain't we? But uh, I'm still debating on whether or not I want to kind of put something in there. I know a lot of people don't, and it's fine, but it just makes me nervous because now there's not much. You know what I mean? There's not much support there. I feel like like that's just I don't know. Um. I don't know. No, no, no. I should probably support it. Uh, but I'm, I'm probably gonna get this cut out right now while I'm out here. Maybe uh, see if I can mount the intercooler, shit like that. Just trying to do some odds and ends that need to be done. Um, I still gotta put the uh, brake booster delete plate on with the Willwood Master. I gotta get these two lines off because the uh, I don't know if anybody's seen, but um, my Willwood Master has two steel braided lines. Um, what else? I think it's pretty much about it, really. I mean, there's not too much left besides waiting for the, uh, the crank pulley to get here, which I'm going to drop the motor with the crank pulley off. Um, I've seen a lot on the forum I'm on. A lot of people drop the motor with the crank pulley off and then put it on. Um, after the motor's bolted up and mount, mounted and all that stuff. So I might do that just to get the motor in so I can get this engine hoist out of here. Um, <laughs> Pop's got me a bench grinder, finally. It's had a broken switch, so we picked up a switch from Home Depot or Lowe's or whatever. And I had this like really thin, really thin like aluminum, and he cut it in square, drilled the hole and everything. So now I just got to get a new wire wheel for that. Um, but yeah guys, uh, stay tuned dude. I mean that's all I can really say. There's not really much going on today. Um, I'm going to definitely put the camera, put the camera back on when I go to put the motor back in again. Um. I would just do it now, but I don't want to try to, I don't want to fucking do it by myself. Um, it's just a pain in the ass to move this engine hoist around. So, uh, like, comment, subscribe, and, uh, we'll be back with another one eventually soon. Peace.